No, I mean you 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 spoke about um, about Jose Pencil's um, withdrawal from the squad, um, but that would be the same as others. You know, um, Thomas Partey and uh, Daniel Amate, um, even going back to Ashimiro, which is a, a few weeks ago. Um, uh, Benjamin Tetti, that's uh, been in and around the squad and fitness. So, so yes, and also of course. Yes, uh, Joe Walcott. So there, there are several. So uh, I think as regards one um, uh, individual, uh, this is football. And what you have to be able to do is you have to be able to adjust you, if for any potential player that, that perhaps might have started and of course is injured, it's a, it's a really good opportunity for somebody else. And that's where you have to look at the, the strength of the squad that you have. Um, I think it's a good squad we have. No, I think uh, uh, all I can do, all I can do is speak uh, on behalf of uh, myself as head coach and of course the, the Black Stars. That's all I can do. What uh, any opposition manager or player has to say about you know, their own team or the game, that's, that of course is their opinion. Um, my opinion is it's, um, we, there are no easy games in this group, home or away. And uh, the, level, the level of African football has improved, I think, significantly over the years. Which means that there aren't any uh, easy games. So we will have to treat good opposition, good opposition with the respect that, that they deserve. Uh, but I go back to what I said, we are playing at home here in Kumasi, in front of our own supporters. Um, and uh, we hope, we hope that they can drive us on, drive us on to the victory that we want. All right. Hi coach, um, my name is Gabi of CTFM, CCTV. Uh, so quick one, I think you mentioned about Joseph Penzo having to leave the squad. Is there room for a replacement? Because there's reports that Fatah who obviously will join the squad, how do you Yes, that is true. He will uh, join the squad. He's just, of course, joined um, Leicester City, which is a, a one, wonderful move for him. Um, coming, obviously, from Portugal, where he didn't play so much, of course, was involved with the under-23s in Morocco in, in the summer, played all, all three games. Uh, and it's a good move for him, and I think one that will really develop his career. So yes, he will join. We're hoping that he will be with us um, this evening. And my name is Patrick Apiakubi, RFM. About GC Infant Pencil Engine. Good, good afternoon, all. Um, yes, this is our, our objective. We uh, are very, very conscious of what uh, this game means. Um, not only the, the nation, but of course the, myself, the players and everybody involved, we know what this game means. So our preparation um, has been for the last two days, you know, I've often spoke about the difficulty of, of preparation at international level, but it's the same. It's the same for the Central African Republic team training today and playing tomorrow, and it's the same for us. Uh, we will do everything that we can to get uh, the result that we want to get. Um, so our preparation has been good. Uh, as with all international camps, sometimes you miss players through injuries, and of course we are missing some uh, through injuries, but it's always an opportunity for others. We are playing at home, we have a good record here, and it's a record that uh, we want to continue. Um, before my colleagues come in, I think the communication director mentioned Joseph Pencil. Can you give us an update as to why you took that decision to let him go together with the medical team, Joseph Pencil? Yes, uh, um, and uh, I, would, I would have to say credit to Joseph Pencil and also his club, uh, Genk, um, for allowing him to come. He uh, sustained an injury right at the end of the, the last game. Um, he had to been taken off, he sustained uh, a foot injury, um, came here um, because he wanted to be here and wanted to be assessed and also his club uh, allowed him to come. But um, knowing that he would, by all accounts, probably be returning back to the club. Um, so after 
Um, of course, seeing our uh, medical staff, it became uh, quite apparent that uh, he wouldn't be available for uh, Wednesday's game. Uh, and of course now has returned back to the club. But we thank, certainly thank his club for allowing him to come because certainly in that situation there would have been a lot of clubs that uh, wouldn't have allowed their player to travel. So, I have to look at um, the injuries that, uh, that were uh, quite before the squad was announced. And I have to get that right balance, a right balance of experience. You know, what, you know, is this, is this, you know, the right game to bring in players that are not proven, that have not maybe not been in the squad before? Um, yes, there can be some part of that, but, but also there has to be a part of having some stability in, in the squad, in what is, a, in what is a, a vital game. So for everybody, there's, there's nobody that has the right to be in any squad. We have to earn that right. And that can come in different ways. That can come with somebody like Andre, who's our captain, who's uh, a big influence and, and respectful player, respectful player around the squad. So for what he can add to the squad. Um, and Edmund Adu, you know, for the games that he's played and also for the options that we have in Central Newfoundland. And um, you might think different, but we, um, Certainly, as from offensive, offensive midfield, you know, we don't have as many options as what we have in other positions. You know, particularly players that have played uh, and been in previous squads. So, for, for every player that's sitting there, there's a thought process that goes on. You know, nobody, nobody gets into the squad just because it's a squad. They, there's a thought process for every single player, and. Um, that's for me to think about. It's always difficult for for everybody that wants to pick a squad because I'm quite sure if I spoke to all of you individually, the squad would differ by five, six players for all of us. And it's my responsibility to pick a squad that I think will win us the game. I have to look at um, the injuries that, uh, that we've quite before the squad was announced. And I have to get that right balance, a right balance of experience. You know, what, you know, is this, is this, you know, the right game to bring in players that are not proven, that have not, maybe not been in the squad before? Um, yes, there can be some part of that, but, but also there has to be a part of having some stability in, in the squad, in what is, in what is a, a vital game. So for everybody, there's, there's nobody that has the right to be in any squad. We have to earn that right. And that can come in different ways. That can come with somebody like Andre, who's our captain, who's uh, a big influence and, and respectful player, respectful player around the squad. So for what he can add to the squad. Um, and Edmund Adu,